there's a there's a, um, um, a researcher named Flynn who came up with the idea, came up with the um, actually the observation that IQs and IQ scores inflate at a rate of about three points per decade. It's referred to as the Flynn effect, and it's a worldwide phenomenon um, that the population, the world population, is getting brighter at a rate of about three points per decade. The belief is is that um, to a large extent. The three-point increase per decade has been associated with um, improved and more um, ubiquitous media, TV, radio, um, computers, um, print media, um, a proliferation of print media first, and then, and then TV and and uh, computers. So the more we are exposed to, the more likely we are to retain some of that, and the younger we're exposed to it the better because um, early childhood is when the brain matures. If you, if you look at um, human development, 50% of your adult intelligence has been developed by age four. That's kind of hard to imagine. But it's the, it's the neurological um, hard wiring that occurs in those first four years. And in those first four years, you also learn the uh, rudiments of language. You learn um, you have a relatively small vocabulary, but you learn that there are verbs and, and nouns and you know how to put sentences together and you know about numerosity and that sort of thing. So the first four years are extremely important. And you can imagine that if, if you live in an, in an environment that is not financially impoverished necessarily, but um, um, impoverished in terms of what you're exposed to, how if the brain is developing during that period and you've deprived it of, of all of that stimulation, that that individual wouldn't be as bright as he could have been or she could have been. Um, and so with the improved media, improved diet, and improved health, we have kids in the first four years that are exposed to a lot more than ever before, and it's helped the development of the brain.